Scott Fristrain, and you are watching Punchlines. Let's meet the panel. What's with the mega cards that we had in the 90s? We just don't have them anymore. There were times when Terry Norris, Julian Jackson, and Gerald McClellan, and Julio Cesar Chavez would all be on the same car. Right. And that was Don King, who talked about not wanting to share the wealth. Right. I mean, that was the guy most famous for it. When you have a fight that involves a Pacquiao or a Mayweather, which is what most of the mega fights have been, you are guaranteed a profit. So what I don't understand is if I'm a promoter, I would spend a lot of money in the undercard because it, when the casual fan comes to boxing, they'll like it, but they don't do it. I don't know why. I mean, he, 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 he's that, there's a lot of mileage on the yeah. domino. I mean, yeah. he's going into what, a young guy. Some of those guys, guy. Manuel Medina, Yori uh, Boycampos, I mean, they turned pro at 50 and they were not why not. They were Mexico, like, quick. But at 40, they were still doing it. And that's like you could turn pro in the so yeah. 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 kissing the guy that loses. I think, he, I think Steve, Steve's an emotional guy. I think he feels bad. Well, after you lost a Connie kiss, you wouldn't have kissed yeah. my wife in the last fight. <laughs> <laughs> I think mean, Steve, Steve sees the brutality from up close. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when he's finally. One of my favorite rest. Yeah. When he's finally, finally going to stop the fight, I think he's just like yes. emotionally like, all right, you poor guy. He you kissed you on the shoulder on the cheek. And, 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 and by the way, I call him Steve Smoocher. Steve Smoocher, who should be elected to the Boxing Hall of Fame. Has he not? He's not been. They're starting to put more referees in. Those ladies just put in. The very next referee that goes in the box, I think, should be. He's he's the best Mostly because he's, he's kissed Paulie. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's I, I think it was the expectancy. A lot of times you expect something great out of a fight and it doesn't match the expectancy because you over expect too much. Your expectations are too, are too high. But I think that fight lived up to all the expectations. Yeah. And uh, Rios got a tremendous win, especially and that he needed because he had come off that controversial win over uh, Real earlier in the year. One thing I know in our business, when the opener kicks ass, you better go out there. If they you finally got Donaire to knock somebody out, that's why we fought them out, too. It made him up his game. Neither of them are defensive specialists. You know, your ball looks at the defense of those fighters, given that he's an excellent a defensive fighter and he cringes. But the fact of the matter is, they are good fighters. They're not ham and eggers. They're yeah. terrific fighters. They just have great offenses. And to watch those two battle it out, and to watch the, the, the change in the tides of that fight, it looked like for me, for a while, Alvarado looked like he was taking such control of this fight that uh, Ruiz, who has been in so many wars, I'm like, okay, guess what? He's just too much for him. Welcome back, folks, to the MMA Corner. I'm the Ackman, Ron Yacovitti, joined by Ian Harris. Because I like it that way. Exactly. It's That's really been his whole career, though. He's got, I don't know what it is with BJ. It's, people always say, oh, oh, he gasses out and he has no cardio. Or, uh, it's not that. I really don't think it's that. He seems to mentally break. Not when he's getting beaten, but when he doesn't murder somebody. And it's happened in the first GSP fight. He beat the living crap out of GSP the first round. GFC, GSP took it, right. came back at him, and it was kind of like he just coasted a little bit and loses the decision. Kind of like late era Mike Tyson. Once he couldn't mow you down in a couple seconds, he couldn't figure out what was wrong. Right. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. And we'll see you next time on the MMA Corner. Thanks again for tuning in. We hope to bring you a lot more of these. So stay tuned for more from the punchlines. Take care.